Hey Premiere Pros, it's Paul Murphy here and today I'm going to show you how to keep organized by naming the tracks in your sequence. Okay, so I have a very easy edit on my timeline here, but it's very difficult to quickly tell what I'm using each track for. And this is where naming your tracks will make it much easier to organize your edit. So to name a track, all you need to do is go over to the track header and right click and you want to choose rename. But as you can see here, that option is actually grayed out at the moment. And the reason for that is I need to display my track names before I can rename them. So to do that, I'm going to jump out of this menu and I'm going to expand the height of all of my tracks by pressing shift and plus. And now I can see the default names for all of my tracks. If I go and right click that track header again, you can see rename is available and I can go in and rename these tracks, something that's more useful to my edit. But here's the thing, if I need to minimize these tracks by pressing shift and minus, those track names disappear. So how do I display the track name all the time? Well, to do that, I need to customize the layout of the track headers. So I'm gonna jump over to any track and I'm going to right click it and choose customize. And here we have a list of all the buttons we can add or remove to the track header. I'm gonna go up to A1, which is the icon for the track name. I'm gonna click and drag this down and place it next to the microphone icon. And then I'll click OK. And now we're seeing all the track names for the audio. Of course, we're going to need to do the same thing for the video as well. I'll select V1 and drag this next to the visibility button and click OK. And now we'll be able to see all of those track names regardless of the height of our tracks. And finally, I just wanna go through one last thing, which is what if you use these track names all the time and you wanna save them as a preset? Well, if I go over to my new item button and I choose sequence, and then I go over to the track options, you can see there's the ability to add names to our audio tracks, but there's no option to add names to our video tracks and then save this as a preset. The only options we have for our video tracks is how many of them there are. But there is an easy way to get around this. What you wanna do is create a sequence with the settings that you want and the track names that you want as well. And then go up to the context menu for that timeline and you wanna choose create preset from sequence. I'll call this track names and I'll click OK. And then the next time you wanna create a sequence using a preset, you can go down to the custom folder and choose that preset we just created, click OK, and you'll see that it's included all of those track names that we had in the original sequence. And there you have it, just a quick way to stay organized by naming your tracks, making sure they're always displayed, and also saving those track names as a preset. I hope you found this video useful, and if you did, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.